Disclaimer. The content provided in this video is for informational and entertainment purposes only. If you or someone you know experiences distressing or persistent intrusive thoughts, we strongly advise seeking support from a qualified mental health professional. This video does not substitute for professional advice or treatment. Viewer discretion is advised. Attention, a weird question follows. Do you know this? You're standing on a bridge looking down and the thought pops into your head. What if I were to jump now, or in the car on a country road, and suddenly the thought, just a quick movement of the steering wheel and I would hit a tree? These impulses actually have a name. They are called the call of void or the high place phenomenon. The term high place phenomenon typically refers to a psychological experience reported by individuals who feel an unusual urge or impulse to jump from high places, such as cliffs, bridges, or tall buildings, even when they have no intention of harming themselves. This phenomenon is also sometimes referred to as l'appel du vide, which is French for the call of the void. It's a fascinating aspect of human psychology that has intrigued researchers for many years. While it may seem counterintuitive or even alarming, it's important to note that experiencing this phenomenon doesn't necessarily indicate a desire or intent to commit suicide. Instead, it's often attributed to a complex interplay of psychological factors. One prevailing theory is that the high place phenomenon is linked to a cognitive dissonance between the fear of falling and the impulse to jump. Some psychologists believe that when individuals find themselves in high places, their brains engage in a sort of risk assessment, which can trigger a temporary irrational urge to jump as a way to confront or resolve the fear. Studies exploring the call of the void phenomenon are somewhat limited, but it has been a subject of interest among psychologists and researchers who study human behavior and cognition. Research into this phenomenon often intersects with studies on intrusive thoughts, risk assessment, and the psychology of fear. One study published in 2011 explored the relationship between the call of the void and suicidal ideation. The researchers found that while some individuals who experienced the call of the void also reported suicidal thoughts, the two phenomena were not necessarily directly linked. Instead, they suggested that the call of the void might be related to the brain's assessment of risk and the management of intrusive thoughts, which are unwanted or distressing thoughts that spontaneously arise in the mind. In this context, the urge to jump may be seen as an intrusive thought that arises due to the heightened awareness of the danger of falling. As for how many people experience the call of the void, it's challenging to provide precise numbers since it's often underreported and can vary greatly from person to person. Additionally, cultural and individual differences may influence whether someone experiences this phenomenon and how they interpret it. However, anecdotal evidence suggests that a significant number of people have experienced the call of the void at some point in their lives, particularly in situations where they confront heights or other potentially dangerous scenarios. Overall, while there isn't an extensive body of research specifically dedicated to the call of the void, it remains a topic of interest within psychology and continues to spark curiosity about the complexities of human thought and behavior. Despite its prevalence, the high place phenomenon remains an area of ongoing research and debate within the field of psychology. It serves as a reminder of the intricate workings of the human mind and the complex nature of our thoughts and impulses. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and hit the like button. See you next time.